The Wheel of Fortune event is the best value event in Rise of Kingdoms. Don't believe me? I'll show you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms gameplay episode from your very own Shappy Gaming. If you haven't already, you might want to hit that subscribe button right over there, bottom right hand corner. But if I haven't earned it yet, stick around. Today we are going to be breaking down the Wheel of Fortune event in Rise of Kingdoms. I know many of you have been playing this game for a long time, so there may or may not be things that you take away, but hopefully you learn a little bit of something from this video. So I did break down all of the details and all of the rewards uh, in a document which is going to be linked out of the community discord. Link is going to be in the description, so feel free to go check that out. But today we're going to be evaluating if this event is worth it. Uh, I've also broken down the Hunt for History and the Knight's Treasure event, so it's only right that I break down the Wheel of Fortune. And the value of the Wheel of Fortune comes in legendary heads. Uh, so those other events were all about equipment. This one is about your gold heads, your commander heads, uh, and this is really just the best event for, for getting new commanders in general. But let's actually pull up our numbers and talk about why this event is so great. So if you do the math and if you break it down, the odds are actually really good of getting gold heads. Uh, you actually have between the, the eight gold heads, the one gold head, and the legendary sculpture gold head, you have a 33% chance of getting at least one gold head per spin, which is pretty substantial uh, when, when you actually think about it. That's one out of every three spins. But let's talk about these other rewards because I know in a lot of the other events, the other rewards kind of suck, right? They're, they're not great, but are they worth it? And so if you use the VIP for comparison, and again, this is, this is all on the uh, community discord. If you use the VIP value of 2000 gems for a gold head or which you can do, or if you really want, you can use the 1000 event gems per gold head. It, it depends on what your preference is. I use 2000 because the VIP, it's the most accessible. All of these are absolutely worth it. I know, no surprise, but I guess that makes sense, right? One out of every three spins, a spin is 800 gems. So that does make sense. So you, if you're looking for gold heads, you should absolutely spin the wheel. The following question is, what about all this other stuff, right? You know, are these 15 hour speed ups worth it? All of these other tokens here are worth it with the exception of the dazzling starlight sculpture which means that only 14 percent of the time are you going to end up in a situation where you've lost out you may not want the eight hour speed ups you may not want the eight hour building speed ups but they are worth it because the value according to vip for these is actually 960 gems whereas a single spin on the wheel costs 720 if you're doing the the five spins at a time which is what you're usually going to be doing even the resources ironically break out so you're even it's 720 to buy the resources in vip if you actually buy the the exact tokens and it's 720 for a spin on the wheel so pretty much all of these you're breaking even but Shappy, what about those bonus rewards, right? You've got all these sweet bonus rewards. Are, are they worth it? You know, should I be trying to reach these? So ironically, if you do use the 2000 for gold head, every single one of these rewards is worth it, which is insane. This is unprecedented in any other event in Rise of Kingdoms. None of them. You, you're welcome to let me know in the comment section below. But I did the Knight's Treasure Breakdown. I did the Hunt for History. No other event can you break even with every single one. So that is huge. And to make matters even better, you can get eight sculptures. You have a 2% chance of that, which means two out of every 100 spins, you could potentially get eight sculptures, which totally throws it all off and makes it even more worth it. But these rewards here also do. So even if you lose, even if you lose out, you get a bunch of gold stars, you still do break even because for 10 spins, the cost is 4,400 gems. And that's if you do 800. If you actually do the 3,600, then it's 11 spins and it's a little bit cheaper. But you actually get three free spins in your first 10, you know, one every day, and then three discounted spins for your first day. Uh, and so that's, you get six that are essentially discounted. 
So you're only paying 4,400 gems for, 10, for five gold heads, which is awesome. You can use the 1,000 gem for the event gold heads if you really want, but even so, it's 5,000 versus 4,400, which, which is nuts. But okay, Chappie, what, what if I want to keep going, right? Well, you know, I want to keep going. I, I, is it worth it? So we've got another 5,000 uh, or another five gold heads here. And the cost for that is 10,000 gems. Uh, and the cost to get to 25, so the extra 15 spins, is only 10,800 gems. So you've already essentially done really well, right? The difference is 800, and that's if you get no gold heads in those 15 spins. That would be really bad luck, but I guess it's possible. Let's say you've got no gold heads, then you've got 10,000. Well, ironically, all of this resources, which, you know, it's not great, but it adds up to make it so your value is 13,600 for the 10,800 spins. So it's worth it, which, which I was surprised by, but, you know, it is. Well, let's keep going, right? Let's, let's do the next 20 spins, right? It's, it can't, can't keep going, right? It can't. So at 45 spins, you're gonna get 10 legendary sculptures. And the cost for those extra spins, extra 20 spins, is only 14,400. So it's 20,000 for 14,400. If you wanna use the 1,000 comparison, you do need to get some gold heads within those spins. But I, I really don't know if you can use that 1,000 comparison because that's only 30 gold heads, um, which really, if you're saving up gems, should be no problem. The next one we're talking about, 70. Come on, Chappie, 70 spins, like really, what? What are you talking about? Well, the extra 70 spins will once again give you 10 unis, which are even better than the commander that you chose because let's say you're only infantry. But unis, again, 20,000, and the, co the cost for those extra spins is only 18,000. So you've broken even there, but wait, there's more. Uh, you actually get four 24 hour speed ups here collectively. And the cost for those is 600 a piece in VIP. So it's 22,400 to 18,000, which is really good. Okay, Shappy, we're, we're at the end here. We 100, 100 spins. Is it worth it? So you guys know the answer, but I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. 15 gold heads, 2000 a piece gives you 30,000 gems. To get the extra spins, from 70 spins to 100 is only 21,600 spins, gems. So you are getting more value for this, for getting to 100 than you are for getting to, uh, from 25 to 40, which is insane. So to answer the question, is the wheel the best event? The answer is yes. But let's talk about another reason why it is. The wheel allows you to get gold heads for a number of different commanders, which is awesome and it's super valuable. The challenge with the wheel is the same event will only show up every so often. If you do want the calendar, it is in the Discord, in the guide section, feel free to check it out. But you can only get infantry or, you know, in the, this, this one is an infantry wheel. Next one will be probably leadership or cavalry, etc. That is the challenge with the wheel is if you are not that troop type, then it's not always worth it. But what is worth it is unlocking every single one of these commanders. And the reason for that is when you do get 10 heads to unlock these commanders, you can then buy the Writer of History bundle for $5, which makes the Wheel of Fortune event even better than it already is today. So, Shappy Squad, should you be saving up gems for the Wheel of Fortune? Absolutely. I think this is the best value event in Rise of Kingdoms for gold heads, especially for commanders you want to work on. Now, who should you be working on? In this wheel, it's a toss-up because you've got Scipio and you've got Boudicca, both of which are extraordinarily strong field commanders, so it depends on what you're looking for. If you're an archer player, go for Boudicca. If you're an infantry player, go for Scipio. And if you're a cavalry player, go for Nevsky. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed. If you have, do hit that subscribe button right over there. My goal was to keep this fairly short, concise, give you the answers, break down the numbers for you, and tell you, spin the wheel! <laughs> if you've enjoyed, I hope that you have. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Shappy out.